friends good morning welcome you all again for one more session in this we are going to discuss about antenna arrays why array is needed see this is the single element dipole antenna as we know there is a two arms one is a put lambda by four length another one is also lambda by four length and this dipole element is properly supported by some physical structure with the proper feeding and this is the lambda by two dipole antenna this dipole is having a very small electrical length so it produces a low gain and low directivity and in this low gain as well as the directivity is not sufficient to transmit the signal for long distance communication so it is only possible to communicate with a line of sight or short distance communication what to do for long distance communication so we need to enhance the gain and directivity here I am showing the uh, lambda by 2 dipole and the dipole seen from side view it is looking like a point source and the radiation caxix it is a figure of 8 as we all know or donut shape it is radiating in a particular plane so as I told it is a low gain and low directivity here there are two techniques to enhance the gain and directivity the first one is to enhance the dimensions of a single element so that you can increase the electrical length and automatically gain will enhance or directivity also enhances otherwise you have to connect n number of same dipole elements or same antennas to enhance the gain and directivity in the first technique if you enhance the dimensions of a single element it is very difficult to handle in practical application let us see this this is the phi element lambda by 2 dipole linear array here the axis of an array is at the center of the dipoles right horizontally you see this is the axis huh? in such arrangement the radiation that main lobe is perpendicular to the axis of the array just see here it is a bidirectional that means both side there is a radiation which is perpendicular to the axis of the array that's why it is called broadside how it is generated here all the elements of the array are fed with the signal which is having the same amplitude and same phase that is very important then only it is possible to broadside radiation as i shown here okay this is regarding about broadside array so there are other arrangement one more is called that is end fire so end fire the structural representation is same it is similar to broadside array only the change is that the microwave signal which is provided to each element is not in phase first element is getting in phase then the next element is out of phase like that we have to feed see here i have written to get the end fire radiation each element is fed with the same current same amplitude but out of phase by adding suitable phase shifter here maybe 180 degree phase shifter will be added between two elements then the automatically signal will be uh, become out of phase compared to the first element the next element will get out of phase here see the end fire radiation is in such a way that it is parallel to the antenna axis on either side you can find or you can control one side no radiation other side there may be a radiation like that also but there is a need of some uh, reflector like that okay so this is regarding about end fire radiation i think you hope you got the idea see this is the one sided end fire radiation i am showing here with uh, some structure and here again i am showing the different views of the end fire radiation and uh, this type of arrangement or array is used for uh, long distance communication uh, let us see one more type of uh, array that is called collinear array so in this the arrangement is totally different here the, here all the elements uh, may be 4 6 whatever it is depends on your n are arranged one uh, one element above the other element in a same axis as i am showing here so this will this is called collinear array so this is very useful and uh, it can generate the uh, broadside radiation like so broad array uh, as I shown uh, different views, uh, the radiation characteristics of this uh, collinear array is like uh, broadside and uh, the main beam is uh, perpendicular to the axis of this array as you can see here both side or it is around the antenna that is okay. So I think uh, these discussions I hope you like it. No? So the applications are long distance communication, maybe satellite communication or telecommunication or maybe tv reception so many applications it may not be only dipole it may use any other antenna okay 
thank you for watching if you like please share it with your technical friends i think it will help a simple discussion thank you thank you one and all